Contact juggling has changed quite a lot since I started. I began contact juggling maybe 10 or 11 years after Michael Motion first presented his piece, Light. And at that time, it was still very much an imitation of what of the techniques that Michael Motion was performing. So that caused problems, but now the people who are starting contact juggling are starting with a very different set of techniques than what was happening when I started maybe 10 years ago. Um, influences from dance and from many other disciplines have worked their way in and it's a, it's a very different style now. I mean, if you, if you think about what Michael Motion did originally or, or some of the earliest contact juggling, it's very much sitting on the floor, wearing black, palm spinning, uh, and simple butterflies, whereas now I think many beginners are starting with isolations and an understanding of fixed point and, and more thinking about the, the picture that their body makes. And so it's changed massively. juggling in 2005 there weren't so much contact jugglers uh, uh, I know uh, surely through internet I've met a lot of people uh, that teach me a lot of things contact juggling has changed during years first it was something really hard to do and to know uh, now through the internet acrylic parties and conventions surely it, it's a, a more open art and uh, in the first moment probably it was just uh, manipulation, normal manipulation, sphere manipulation. Now contact juggling has to be considered like uh, a new form of manipulation of every object. So we don't use uh, only sp spheres anymore, but also sticks, uh, hoops and different kinds of objects. Trying to explore uh, the characteristics of the physics of every object, uh, trying to take the, the best from them. Il y a de plus en plus de jongleurs, il y a de nouvelles méthodes de, de transmission de l'information, pour remettre dans le contexte, j'ai commencé à jongler en 96. Je n'avais pas d'internet, rien de tout cela n'existait. La seule façon de, de rencontrer des gens et de, et de progresser était, euh, était les conventions, les associations de, de jonglerie. Maintenant, avec, euh, avec les vidéos, qui est la meilleure façon de transmettre l'information, surtout si on peut l'enregistrer et le repasser au ralenti, euh, on n'a même plus besoin de rencontrer des vraies personnes entre guillemets pour, euh, pour avancer dans la, dans, dans la progression journalistique et on peut aussi euh, rencontrer par le biais d'internet des personnes de pays très différents avec des styles de jonglerie très différentes et la, la transmission d'informations est beaucoup plus simple maintenant. not really much I think because I, I started uh, four years ago and yeah there yeah I, I can't I didn't notice any changes I think yeah
started just over two years ago, and around that time, it seemed like Uncle Tampa's influence was still really big. You saw a lot of people with acrylics doing kind of all the sort of isolation with a bit of body rolling style and things like that. I don't know. It seemed like a few years ago there was a few body rollers who were really doing innovative stuff, but they kind of disappeared just before I started. But it seems like they're just sort of coming back a bit more, like more body rolling style. Like, of course, it's the people that like to do the isolation contact with an acrylic kind of thing. I don't know, it seems like the style's getting more diverse. You look at people like Kyle Johnson, who's doing a bit of toss with the contact mixed in, or like, I'm trying to find my own area as well to try and branch out. Like, take what's standard in contact and try and add an extra twist to it. Like, branch out into other areas that other people haven't been to. And I think more and more people are sort of branching out using dance or toss juggling or just various getting inspiration from other places and sort of branching out into sort of new areas and I think yeah from now into the future it's going to kind of keep evolving like maybe the contact will split up more into more different variations than it is right now but that core will still remain but I think it will expand in different areas it changed a lot I guess I met it as a kind of old school my heroes were Jago and Kelvin Smith and Bruno, but now heroes changed. Uh, it's not only contact juggling; it, uh, it's more manipulation, uh, more simple things make them look more magical. Uh, more styles, free videos on internet help a lot. Uh, YouTube helps a lot. Some people say it's uh, it's not a help, but I think it's a great help. I don't have the chance to travel a lot, so internet gives me a free travel almost every day to super videos and uh, new ideas. Uh, yes, it has changed a lot. specifically on isolations as a starting point and teaching students uh, on one hand to develop the techniques with their body to be more precise but also teaching them to develop their eyes to be able to see more of the fine details in the movement and things like that so a lot of exercises uh, just based on simple rotations of an object and then partner exercises to try and develop spatial awareness to know where the ball is in space as we move around it. Um, all of those things, especially for beginners, are really valuable and give them a strong foundation for developing their material later on. Also, the internet. I mean, for me, teaching and, and the community that exists on places like contactjuggling.org is, they go really well together as an educational environment. So I try to contribute as much as I can to the community, both both instructional material and advice about technique, but also trying to innovate and trying to suggest new ways that people can do things, because those ideas will be taken by people that are learning about things and, and taken in many, many different directions. So yeah, those two things, trying to do workshops for real people and then trying to contribute to the online community so that people in faraway places can also learn the same techniques. try to give the passion to the students and to the pupils and also try to tell them that it's uh, all about control. That's my philosophy of contact juggling, to get everything controlled in some way. Uh, I just did my first work 
workshop today, so I had my first experience of teaching. I've kind of looked at other, the way other people do workshops, and some people are very much focused on, I'll teach you this trick, do this, here's the next trick, repeat, repeat for one hour. And I don't know, I don't, that doesn't really work so much with me. I try and teach the basic ideas, for example with multi-ball. I learned sort of the positions I learned to start with, and then showed some of the ideas I've had, like creating stacks, like get from this shape and go to the other side. Any way you like, like trying to get people to be more creative rather than follow the set like preconceived ideas of you must learn this trick, then this trick, then this trick, finish. Like try and branch out a lot more, be more creative, add your own personality, add your own way of thinking into it because that's how new ideas come about. And I think that's really important, like stop just doing your own doing kind of what's considered normal just branch out, make it more personal, get more influences from other places. I kind of want to encourage that a lot more. When teaching, I try not to teach a, a trick. Uh, I try to teach uh, the basis of a technique uh, so that uh, people don't copy just a trick and don't copy a style, but uh, they take uh, inspiration from uh, this style and this technique. Uh, so if you teach the basis, uh, you let uh, the student very free uh, to move uh, to which direction and if the theory is uh, very complete, uh, then the student have much information to use. And if there are many teachers, uh, the student will become perfect. There's been uh, so much evolution that, uh, and especially the, the last two years, I've seen many, many new things. So I think the next year is going to be even more amazing. Like I said, uh, it's uh, not only contact juggling, it's gone further to manipulation, so many different styles, uh, popping, waving has been into it, uh, morphing with big balls, uh, super styles, great evolution. I look. Wow. Um, well, there has been so much evolution in the past 10 years. The application of some of the ideas from, from the dance community, the illusions that come from popping and waving and all of the isolations in the body, had a really big impact on some of the styles and techniques for contact juggling. So I think these directions will continue to be explored, and there's a lot of untouched material that can be taken from combining some different disciplines into this. Each of the different areas is evolving, so isolation material is evolving with the application of dance ideas, but then uh, body rolling is also evolving in a really big way with uh, people using more of their bodies, their legs and their head in unusual ways and things. So yeah, in that direction it's also uh, going through quite an amazing amount of changes and I don't know where it's going to go. And same with multi-ball, people are still pushing the technical limits in terms of what is possible and changing the sizes from non-standard kind of, or from the standard size of 75 millimeters into different sizes. So this opens up all sorts of new things. I don't know exactly where it's going to go, but it's good. more balls, more ideas, because there's so many areas that have 
haven't really been explored, like variations of the uh, chess rolls, and folding lines and going on to three balls, making shapes, things like that, going on to four balls even. I don't use big balls, but using small balls is so many ideas with shapes and things like that. People like Carl Johnson, he's got so many ideas already and he keeps growing. And yeah, I think a more body rolling influence will come in. And of course the isolation style will stay because it's kind of a classic style and it works well with audiences and things like that. I just see it branching out in more different directions, implementing more toss. There's just so many ideas for making toss juggling, mixing in body rolling and things like that. Yeah, I just see contact expanding in the way it is. Like you see with toss juggling, people like Stefan Singh, it's not just it's stand there, do tricks, it's using dance, making stalls. I think that influence will move on to contact as well. I think that's really important. Contact juggling is a way of juggling that can be combined with, I think, nearly everything. <laughs> yeah, really, there are so many possibilities, and so I think there will be so much more to explore. And yeah, or just the classical stuff, I think, can be pushed to new levels. Yeah, there, there's a bright future.